Hi and welcome to the channel. If you haven't been here before, my name is Langers and I am the Scruffy Trader. And what's this channel all about? Well, it's just me putting trading in the real world. No fake Lamborghinis or mansions. Just me, that screen, and a cup of coffee. Because we all know Scruffy likes a coffee. And you need it when you're trading all day. Keep the brain lubricated. And that's exactly what I do. Because I trade for a living. So the idea of this little playlist is to answer simple questions in bite-sized chunks that you can replay and use it as a reference point as and when you need it. Now I'll give a shout out to everybody who asks a question. And today's question is from a subscriber, so thank you very much Nick, good question, and the question is, what is swing trading? Well in order to understand what swing trading is, you should know what the other trades are as well. And the way I see it, trading is broken up primarily into four categories, and we'll quickly go through each one. The first one that seems to attract everybody when they first come into trading is scalping. And scalping is exactly what it says it is. You're literally scalping a few ticks out of the market very quickly. And it's predominantly done on a one minute and a five minute chart. It's very exhilarating and it is fun but it's also very dangerous. And the why I say it's dangerous is your risk to reward is normally inversed. In other words, you're only going to be getting two, three ticks out of the market. But if it goes against you, you are losing 10 to 20 ticks. So you only need one loser and all of your good work has been done for the day. So for all it's fun, it doesn't necessarily become profitable. But then you have what's called a day trader. And day trading is what I do. And what you're looking for is one to two trades in a day with a decent return. Between 10 and 50 pips. Your risk to reward is normally around one to one. Uh, sometimes it's slightly inverse, but if you scale and let a runner run all day, it then balances out. Okay, And at the end of each working day, you close off all of your trades and you end flat. Day trading. Then you move to swing trading. And swing trading is longer term. You're looking at days and weeks for your position to play out. But you normally have a higher risk reward, 3 to 1, 2 to 1. And you're predominantly going to be looking at the hourly, 4 hour and daily charts. Ideal if you work, because you only need to look at your position once, twice a day maybe. And you just manage it very gently. And it's a nice pleasant way to trade. And finally, the fourth is what's called position trading. And a position trader will predominantly use a daily, weekly and monthly chart. And it's almost like an investment because these are looking to run for weeks, months and even years with the right trade. And you only need to really look at these positions once a week so again if you work and you've got limited time it's it's an easy way to trade and the pain is very little because once the position is moving forward the risks to rewards can be massive uh, but it takes a very very long time to play out so in summary you have four types which are scalping day trading Swing trading and position trading. Each of them have their own style 
and depending on your personal personality depends on the type of trader that you would become if you're incredibly patient look at the higher time frame sit back and relax if you like a bit of action look at scalping and if you want to be somewhere in the middle look at day trading and that's it guys nice and simple so drop your comments below and we'll build up this playlist into nice bite-sized chunks as i said earlier and let's build something you can have a reference i hope that answers the question if you like this sort of thing and you want to learn more please click the little subscribe button and hit the like and ask your question in the comments below and i'll make a little video for you so with all of that do what you love and money will follow i'll see you on the next one guys